Oh hey my fellow messes and welcome back to Just as a Hot Mess. I put out new videos every Sunday so you should subscribe right now so you don't miss any of my videos which are all, frankly, riveting. March is almost over so I think you guys know what that means. Obligatory faves video. Things I like, things I like, gonna show you some things I like, yeah. So first up are my beauty faves. Um, I'm kind of late to the party again per usual with this one, but I finally purchased um, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita, which is like a fan fave. I see it all over Instagram, YouTube, Tumblr, everywhere. It's basically just the perfect nudie pink color. Just do a little swatchy doodle hopefully you guys can see that so this is a liquid to matte lipstick which means that it dries matte on your lips but the thing that I really love about this particular liquid to matte lipstick is it dries silky still so it doesn't give you that like mummified feeling of dried out lipstick on your lips which some liquid to matte lipsticks can do do you know what I mean please tell me I'm not the only one that that happens to it also doesn't bleed on my lips which I've had problems with before with the liquid to matte lipsticks and it lasts through eating and drinking pretty much most of the day usually if I put it on before work I only have to touch up once during the day and it lasts like a full eight to nine hour shift so yeah yeah this is a major key right here major key moving on to my fashion faves for the month of March we have been experiencing some who is texting me stop it I'm trying to film don't they know I'm trying to film so we have been experiencing some crazy, crazy, crazy. So we have been experiencing some crazy weather here in the New England. It's 60 degrees one day. It's snowing the next day. It's crazy here. Um, so you never know what to expect. And I've just taken to wearing several light layers that I can either take off or add during the day if I gauge the weather wrong. Um, and because of that, my two fashion faves for March are both lightweight jackets. The first one is this denim anorak that is from Simply B. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So cute. Um, I really, really love denim jackets and I really, really love anorak. So this is the perfect combo for me. It's super lightweight, so it's not crazy for springtime wear. Um, and it's a good medium wash denim, so you can wear it with dark wash denim or light wash denim without looking like you're wearing a denim tuxedo a la Justin Timberlake circa early 2000s, I think. I should Google that. Second lightweight jacket is this printed bomber from Simply B. I'm dying I'm so obsessed with it it actually comes with matching shorts if that's your thing um I like the matching shorts but I didn't purchase them because I've purchased things like that before like matching jackets and shorts thinking like I'm gonna wear this and I never did so I was just like let me hold off on the shorts but I got the bomber during New York Fashion Week I peeped a lot of printed bomber jackets my favorite one was like a red one with matching shorts from Alice and Olivia and that's how I actually found this. I, after seeing that, I was so taken with it that I googled plus size printed bomber jackets and this is what came up. The colors in this, I really like that the colors are very neutral so it's easy to pair with things. Um, I just treat the blue like a denim so I would wear it with anything that I would wear denim with. And then this is just like a nice um warm brown color so I pretty much will wear it with anything any color the way that I've been mostly wearing it is just with an oversized gray t-shirt and some boyfriend jeans for something cute and casual maybe my metallic flats call it a day but I think that it also is cute with skirts dresses all kinds of stuff I've even paired it with like a different pattern like a really small stripe or a really small check uh in neutral colors as well and it has been still cute 
continuing continuing on my next category is entertainment earlier in the month I was looking for something to read that had magic and girls being awesome in it that's that's literally the specifications I had like the, that's what I was craving to read magic girls being awesome so I texted my sister who reads a lot and generally has pretty solid book recommendations and I was like, hey, I want to read something with girls being awesome and magic. What should I read? And she sent me back a list of like 10 books to read. Um, so I just started at the top of the list and I started reading them. So this is the first book that she recommended and it is called The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. And it is part of the Books of Bayern series that Shannon Hale has. So there's four of them. Um, I actually just finished the second one, but it's hard to talk about in favorites video because I have it on Kindle. Like I have it on my my phone on the Kindle app because I couldn't wait for the book to come. I just wanted to read it. So lame. I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. So it says some people are born with the first word of a language resting on their tongue, though it may take some time before they can taste it. Annie Dory Kiladra Taliana Isley, crown princess of Killindry was born with her eyes closed and a word on her tongue. She spent the early years of her life listening to her aunt's stories and learning the language of the swans. Then a colt was born with a word on his tongue, his name, Falada. And when Annie spoke it, she found the key to his language too. But as Annie's gift grew, so did others' mistrust of it, and soon her mother felt she had no choice but to send her away to be queen of a foreign land. It was so good, guys. It's so good. I really, really liked it. I read it in one day. So I just finished the second book in the series, which is called End Up Burning. And I ordered um, The Last Chew, which are River Secrets and Forest Born. So if you guys want to caps lock in excitement over these books with me or any other books that you think I should read, um, please, please, please send me a message on Tumblr. I think that's probably the best place. I don't want any spoilers, you know, in the comments. I don't want to put any spoilers, but send me a message on Tumblr. We can totally have a discussion about it. Um, you can find my Tumblr at just as a hot mess, just like my name here. And there's, there's a link here. Maybe, maybe I put a link here, a link, hopefully, maybe. Yeah. A link. Last but not least, the miscellaneous category. So this month, I started doing something called bullet journaling, which is like an analog organizational system. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I'll leave a link down below if you guys haven't heard of bullet journaling so that you can see what I'm talking about. Basically, this is my bullet journal um, and it's just a moleskine notebook and um, I've been using it to keep myself organized and I've also been using it as sort of a creative outlet and I've been doing like little doodles and stuff so um, I just want to show you guys a couple pages not everything um, this page is cute it has like a list of books that I want to read I have like all the books my sister recommended and then some other books that got recommended to me and then I have um, my habit tracker for March so basically I just listed a bunch of stuff that I want to do oh I'm losing I'm losing pieces over here but I listed a bunch of stuff I wanted to do like um clean for 20 minutes um do laundry um drink 64 ounces of water um budget bring my lunch to work stuff like that and then whenever I do one of the things I just highlight it um so as you can see I'm doing really terrible but I'm trying some of them I'm okay at other ones I haven't like done once and then I did this like cute little quote it seems impossible until it's done which is basically how I feel about my entire life um I also have my like outfits planned out I plan out my outfits for the week and I also have my 2016 goals which I talked about in my new year's resolutions video which I'll link down below because I think I'm going to be doing a follow-up soon um but I just have them there as a reminder I'm trying to see oh this is where I was trying to teach myself hand lettering um, there is nothing that cannot happen today. I'm not very good at it, but I've been practicing, like, writing different little cute quotes. I have, like, a chores list of different stuff I want to do every day and some cute arrows. And, oh, I really like this page. This is, like, some daily pages that I did and some more outfits. This is for, like, this week that I'm in right now. I haven't finished filling it out yet. 
Um, and then it says, style is a way to say who you are without having to speak, which is a Rachel Zoe quote. I really just like the color scheme that I have going on here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really been helping me stay organized. And um, if you want to see more stuff about bullet journaling, I'm going to link a really really good YouTube channel her name is Boho Berry um, and she is super creative I took a lot of inspiration from the way that she sets up her bullet journal for mine because I really wanted mine to be cute and not just like the normal bullet journal so I took a lot of inspiration for her so I'll link that down below and you guys can check her out because she's like 10 hundred times more talented than I'll ever be is that's it for March that's it for March um I hope you guys enjoyed this and you should leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorites were for the month of March. Um, if you'd like to see more of me, you can hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos on Sundays. Um, I've been getting a little bit better about putting them out every Sunday. I'm trying. Um, and you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Tumblr. I will put all the links down below, but it's either just as a hot mess or oh yes, hot mess for all of those places. And you should definitely tweet me or send me a comment on Insta or a message on Tumblr, especially if you want to talk about the Books of Bayern series. And um, I'll message you guys back. So thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye. I said that I was going to work, but um, we just got evacuated. The fire drill, the fire alarm was going off, and now they told us to leave. 